News for Jax is covering today's election from all angles. Our News for Jax reporters are live all over Northeast Florida. We start, though, with News for Jax reporter Brittany Muller. She's live in Duval County, just outside the precinct on the east side this morning. Good morning. Jen, good morning. There was actually an issue with the machine counting ballots for the first 40 minutes here at the John F. Kennedy Service Center. They were having an issue with counting those ballots and it was preventing them to be scanned. It has been rebo rebooted and it's now working for the past hour. And I spoke with one voter this morning. It happened to her and she's calling it voter suppression. The first to get here, um, they escorted us in, of course, and um, we received our ballots as normal. I completed my ballot, um, and there were a few ahead of me. And at that time, we were told once our ballots were completed, in the past, you just walk up to the machine and you put your ballot in. Um, they were to they told us that the machine was not in working order and to stand to the right until they could get it in working order. Did they get that in working? They did not. So, of course, me being myself, I went over to the person that was in charge and I asked, um, what's the in contingency? Because this this should not be occurring. I said, I would hope that you would have guys um, performed a mock test what prior did to... What the poll manager say? That they were trying to get it worked out and that um, they were going to, someone was going to bring a new machine. I said, well, what do we do in the interim? What does your contingency plan look like? And it was then explained to me that by the book, the contingency says that the... Um, the, ind the individual that's voting can take their ballot and put it in the emergency slot. And I said, well, if I put it in the emergency slot, that means that I'm putting it in manually and it will bypass the machine and none of these votes will count. And what he, had, he then explained to me is that at the end of tonight at seven o'clock, I or any of the voters that were not able to cast their ballots um, via the computer could come back at seven o'clock and they would manually enter those ballots. I'm sorry. Do you have to come back? Well, if I want to make sure my ballot is voted, I mean, counted, but how do I know which one is mine? As, as far as I'm concerned, mine could have been put in the garbage can. How do I know which one of those is mine? Because it only has the precinct number on it. So at this point in time, I have no clue if my ballot will be voted. I can stand there and watch him put some ballots in, but which one is mine? Is mine is even present? Are you planning on coming yes, back? Yes, ma'am. That's me. Yes, ma'am. And my concern here is that how many other precincts is this, is this occurring in? Had I not called you guys, would it have even been reported? Did you wait until they brought in another machine? No, ma'am. I had to go. More than 21,000 Duval voters have cast their ballot on Election Day and more than 265,000 have voted early and 135,000 voted by mail. That's according to the Duval Supervisor of Elections website. And the manager here at this precinct says he's invited those voters who had their ballots not counted during those first 40 minutes to come back before 7 so they can be rescanned by that machine. According to the Florida statute, it says that they must be placed in a lockbox until then. Of course, we will keep you updated on air and online, newsforjax.com. Reporting live this morning from Springfield, Brittany Muller, Channel 4, the local station.